and today is the grand opening and so far we're doing good so we're gonna see what happens next we can't complain Jamaican food are gone Curry goat are gone <laughs> brown stew chicken and rice and pizza happen we fling down some curry chicken and white rice <laughs> we are here at boy's place here in Asebo, a restaurant, Jamaican restaurant in Ghana, Ghana kitchen. Now I am having rice and peas along with brown stew chicken and it is very good. The rice and peas is done professionally. I can taste the coconut juice inside of it. Well rich. And the brown stew chicken it's so here. So and I am with some vegetables. And it's good. I'll be back. <laughs> Hello everybody, thank you very much for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. If you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly do that and let's build this channel together. I know you have seen a lot of videos from the Asebo Pan-African project. Yes, a project that started in 2019 to invite the African diaspora to come and live in the motherland. In so doing, we have had a lot of people, you know, purchasing land, getting free land, starting a business, collaborating with the locals and everything. Today, I want to introduce you to Miss Moy and her new restaurants. She's been living in Ghana getting to a year and then she has started a lot of businesses. She started with a meat shop. At a point she realized that there should be more than just the meat shop. So she's turned the meat shop into a restaurant, a Caribbean Jamaican restaurant. Anything you need from the Jamaican dish and then continental as well as the local dish. So my team and I went to Asebu to mount some pillars and on our way back, we entered Miss Moy's place. I mean, it was so beautiful seeing these locals visiting the place, buying, drinking, having fun, as well as uh, Caribbeans who are also living there in Asebu. I think this is a beautiful idea that when you make up your mind to come to the motherland, you should as well think of a business that you can do to sustain you because you cannot really really live on uh, the monies that you will be sending to the motherland you should think of starting a business like moi has already started so this video is just to give you a tidbit of what is happening with miss moi in a sable community and she's been okay with the community people you know one thing i love about her is that she's been positive with everything there's negative as well but she tries as much as possible to focus on the, on the positivity of life and that is what she's enjoying now the people are so friendly with her they come to her anytime and it's so awesome so if you're thinking of coming to the motherland please come with a positive mindset no more negativity yes come with a positive mindset and let's live together so enjoy this video for miss moy's kitchen and anytime you are in ghana you are in a sable make sure that you put it on your list to visit and have a beautiful awesome delicious meal thank you very much for checking me out a call simpson connecting africans in the diaspora to the motherland Hey, Heko, what's going on? Everything is blessed. What's going on today? Hey, listen. Well, you know me. Something is not working, I say next. So, I decided that I'm going to do a restaurant and bar because the meat business wasn't doing well. And today is the grand opening. 
and so far we're doing good so we're gonna see what happens next we can't complain Jamaican food are gone curry goat are gone eh, eh. brown stewed chicken and rice and pizza happen we fling down some curry chicken and white rice eh, eh. I mean say, listen, pesco beef fish, rotted, brown stew fish, we sell off. Me now go tell you no lie. The flag, you know, say, oh, it's the flag. The flag are gone. Ghana food are gone. You say Ghana, we sell off. Today, we can't complain, things are gone for we. So we just pray so the Almighty just bless up and the food gone. So, at that time, rotted them, you know, see the little bar. Yes, <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs>